Hope you guys like that little intro. Oh. There's one thing I learned about vlogs, watching popular YouTubers, it's that you gotta open as many doors as you can in a jump cut style fashion. I'm heading to Everett right now to pick up a welded diff for the S13. And then later today, my tires for the A6 will be here. And DJ is still out of town. I'm still a little sick, but Riley's coming. We're gonna mount the tires and then we're gonna get them on the A6. We're almost at the house where I'm picking up the welded diff, so. Yeah, we'll have it in one second. All right, just picked up the diff, and it's in the back right now. So I'm heading home now, and then I'm gonna, or Riley's gonna come over, and maybe when I get home, the tires will have showed up. So time to take another hour and ten minute drive home. Okay, so I'm back home now. Uh, two and a half hour round trip from here to Everett to pick up this bad boy. So it should be worth it, because now I can do mad skids without the VLSD slipping like crazy when I'm trying to get sideways and got the 8.6 out because the tires are supposed to come for the reps today so we're gonna go get those mounted if they do come and then get them on the 8.6 Riley's on his way right now to help out like I said DJ is out of town so he can't be here and yeah yo how's it going good all right, so we're waiting for the uh, delivery man to bring the tires so we can go get them mounted. But in the meantime, we're taking more needless shit out of the engine bay. What are we taking out now? This is the cruise control um, actuator, I guess. You don't, I don't know. use cruise control, man? No. You're supposed to use cruise control when you're drifting. I wish there was a drift control. I hate that. When you can only get it like two clicks. <laughs> that stuff hasn't been taken off in 31 years. 30 years. <laughs> It's all just molded to everything, especially with that grease. Like, here's here's an example. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's either like a small oil leak coming from the small distributor. Small oil leak. <laughs> well, small. I mean, nobody's cleaned this in like 20 plus years. I guarantee it. Oh man, there's probably one more somewhere impossible to access. Yeah, this car'd be perfect for a pop your hood bro episode. Well, let's see what's under the hood. Oh, oh shit. There. Don't have one. <laughs> Man, everything's so original. It reminds me of my brother's first Corolla. His was like one owner, clean. It just like sat around forever. Really? So everything was mint, no rust. Just twist and pull that shit like DJ said. Twist and pull that shit. <laughs> it's just like catchers, man. You gotta find the right angle of the jangle and the dangle. Yeah. Right on. Just now disconnect those cables. What is that? It's not a tool. Little eyeball minion looking thing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you literally dug that out of the ground <laughs> after like a hundred plus years before I got here, didn't you? That's where you got that shit. Like, that's more rust than anything. <laughs> you need to start a GoFundMe for your tool set there. <laughs> for real. <laughs> there, you, you've got to have a 12 in here somewhere. Careful not to strip that. I know. Because <laughs> those are notorious for stripped uh, Allen heads. That's what it was like removing the 4AG from my Corolla. It was like an archaeological dig getting it out. <laughs> I wish you could see the Rasta paint on this a little better. I know. I put it on my Snapchat story yeah. when it was sunny out. It just looks black. Looks like the tires just got here. Think Les Schwab will do that stretch? Just call him. Yeah. Pretty nice. So it's a 15 by 9 minus 10. Yep. On a 225 45. I think they'll do it. Look at the flames, too. I know. See. Extra horsepower, dude. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like something that you would put on your car and need for speed underground. Yeah. <laughs> do you want. Uh, Flames at your new tires, it's uh, 500 credits. <laughs> Alright, so I just accidentally recorded like a four, five, six, seven minute long video. <laughs> just but we got the tires loaded into the 240, I mean the tires and the wheels. <sighs> Alright, so now we're gonna head to Les Schwab and see if they'll stretch these on. We saw that. We were just 
pulling out of my driveway to go to Les Schwab to get these bitches mounted. And I was like, oh shit, we forgot the camera. And I started just backing down my driveway to go get it. And Riley looks up the sunroof and it's on top of the roof. Yeah, that could have been interesting. That was almost that, bad. That first left turned out of here, we just boom, see ya. Crack, crack that lens. All right, time to go see if they'll do it. Dude, that's, that's what I said. Strap that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I just don't know why they don't do that. <laughs> thanks, man. Alright, so we just got the terrible news I was, uh, was planning for, unfortunately. But look at that sidewall. They won't stretch a 225 on a 10 inch wide, or a 9 inch wide and wheel. And 45 side. Yeah. She's like, oh, that's way too stretched. Right? And she <laughs> took one look and she was like, there's no way. Like, I don't I don't even think she knows much about tires, honestly, because once we get those mounted, it's not gonna be that massive at all. Yeah. Like barrels will be nowhere close to be showing at all. So what's the plan, Stan? Coops Miata didn't answer. I'm calling Firestone right now. Cool. You shut it off. All right, so Firestone couldn't do it. I just called them. I know of a place that will do it because they did my they did 205s on my tens, yeah. and then it didn't work. So they we bumped up to two two fifteens, I think. Something. So we're gonna head there now. They're called Intech Racing. It's like a Intech. Oh, damn. They're like they do dyno and shit. Sounds official. We'll be there shortly. All right, we just got to Intech Racing, and we're gonna see if they'll do it. Well, I know they'll do it, so we'll see if they got time to do it or something. Also, they got some sick cars here. So they're doing it. Uh, 25 bucks a tire, so it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, so here's how you properly do it. <laughs> no, this is what it looks like without... Um, Bondo. <laughs> yeah, like a whole tub of Bondo. Yeah. A gnarly GTR just pulled into the shop. Get a shot of me rolling the last one. Alright, so we got them all loaded up and they're all mounted and balanced and everything. 105 bucks later. Yeah, so now we're heading home and we're gonna try to get them on. And they're Pretty back. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the one on. No, dude, that's your thumbnail. <laughs> oh right, right there. No way they're fitting with these, with this height. No way. We should probably film this because I don't think anyone's ever seen you taking a wheel off the 8.6. Oh yeah, probably not. <laughs> Here's the moment. That's looking pretty sick. Yeah, I think these just make the car. True. Yeah. Do you have a fender? Oh, careful over here. Let me put this inside the... That's what it looks like with a fender. Looks like a car. <laughs> Just the grip. <laughs> Keep in mind, you also have a space around there, so. I'll be getting wider fenders though, anyway. Yeah. Stay Snapchatting. What do you think? I love it. Sweet. <laughs> One step closer to getting Steezy's wheels. <laughs> Damn, I thought the over fenders were wide. <laughs> Look at this wheel, though. Bet people are like, I wonder if you can fit these on a 10-inch wide wheel. <laughs> so before we show the problem, what happens when you put two 25s on an 8.6? Run into problems. <laughs> <laughs> so try to turn the wheel. Yeah. So that's pretty much contacting the frame right there. And what I think we should do, the violent way of doing it, is to just bash 
that part a little bit with the sledge or I, I don't know what else <laughs> really I mean don't want to limit the steering <clears throat> so you can't turn any sharper than that is all <laughs> <laughs> and when you do your wheels are locking up <laughs> so it's looking different now yeah we just uh, uninstalled the fender flares just so that we can test fit the rear tires on the rear wheels I don't know if we showed you already but we got the fronts on yeah, there's the front and these wheels obviously they don't even fit these small wheels don't even fit the over fender, so. Also, we're missing a piece of the coilovers, so we can't raise it, which is what we need to do to fit the big ones with the over fenders. Yeah, we need the little adjusting collar that sits on top, or on the bottom of the spring, yeah. by the spring perch, so. And the previous owner just took it off to get maximum mm, 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 low. <laughs> yep, and without that, we can't really adjust the height, so, bummer. This is why we used screws, so that we can just take it off if we need to do something. Like if we had if we had rivets on there, then it would have been a big old bitch to get it off. And before anyone comments and says, why'd you put directional tires on the wrong way? These are just mock-up. <laughs> that doesn't look as bad as the front, but... It's because there's not a two-inch space. Yeah. <laughs> Should I drop it? Yeah, you can drop it a little bit. No, once you put the fenders on. Well, we did remove that spacer. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, except it's going to need that lip trimmed off, but... Oh, you're also like way far out. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of a lift. Yeah, exactly. Just get those those collars. Get Dude, but from right here though, that, that shit looks good. Should do it like uh, on Mighty Car Mods. <laughs> they just like put it at the end of the camera, like the awkward, the oh, most yeah. awkward spot possible. <laughs> just hand it out. That looks so good. With the paint match, it'll look even better. I need them good. to come out a little further though. Huh? I need them to come out a little further. Nah, dude. That's perfect right there. Just, just get a proper 5 mil that actually lines up with the bowl holes. Do it. Do a flip. Alright. Do a flip. Second try Friday. Oh, oh how's it? Yo! Count it. The cleanest landing. <laughs> All right, so we're all done, basically, for this video. We ran into a lot of problems, but also, they look sick as fuck, so did we, we're, we're did just we gonna have them? to work around. Yeah, so, tire hits the frame right here. So we're thinking that if we raise it, that might help out, and also, if we take the spacer off, that might help out. And we have a lot of room to play with, because they're super wide anyways. Hopefully we don't have to, but use the adjustable length uh, lower control arm too, that might help. Oh yeah, we can buy a lower control arms that push it out even further. But that's money. That's big money. Yeah. So that will just be totally clear of that. Um, the rears turned out a lot better than I thought they would. This is without a spacer and as low as the coilovers go. We're just going to have to raise it a little bit to fit the over fenders. I think, did we? So yeah, and then I think I might run like a 10 millimeter spacer just to get it flush with the over fender. And then we're, we're definitely going to have to uh, shave up off this lip that's serving no purpose. Yeah, I'm going to make a list of things I have to do. But I'm glad I got the tires and the, the wheels and everything mounted up. So it was a good day. So with all of that stuff, um, obviously you can expect more videos on this car because I've got a lot of things to do to it. <laughs> what would you say percentage-wise? 75. 75? Okay. I don't even know, dude. I have to get that list going. Yeah. So I can just... I, I got like so many things in my five head. Five things off the list per video. Yeah. And that one of them on the list sends Easy Don his wheels. Yeah. <laughs> get these mounted to where I can, I can roll the car on them. Yeah. Well, and then send you, send the send these to CZ Don. Oh, also someone sent us some really cool shirts, but I'm waiting for DJ to get here so we can open them and wear them. So you'll see those in the next video probably. We just talked for a while with my neighbor. He's pretty cool. More skids. More skids? Yeah. Right. Check it out. I will. Dope. One more subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, gonna wrap this video up it'll be the first part of installing the new wheels I guess because like we said we still got more stuff to do I'll just start making a list so next video you'll see the list the novel of things yeah so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one peace